The Guiana Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, GSPCA, in collaboration with the Tales of Hope Animal Shelter, held a vaccination drive at Kay's Pharmacy in East Kanji last Sunday. Julissa Hines reports. On Sunday, October 31st, the Guyana Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, GSPCA, collaborated with Tales of Hope Animal Shelter to host a canine vaccination drive at Case Pharmacy in Cumberland, East Kanji, Burbese. Amrita Singh, veterinarian technician at the GSPCA, disclosed these details about the organization. Um, the GSPCA has been around since 1903 as the British Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, and then in 1953 we had our first building erected. After our independence from the British, we have the name that you know now, the Guyana Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Miss Singh further revealed details about the vaccination drive. Today we are at Burmese Kanji doing a vaccination drive to assist Burmesians to have their animals fully vaccinated to prevent viruses that can affect and kill our canine friends. We collaborated with Tales of Hope to have this initiative done and I will it, we will be back here on the 21st, so we would like um, a lot of you to come out if service is needed. We also um, have with us now feline vaccines. So if you do have your feline friends that you need vaccinated, you can also bring them out. Vijay Basant, executive member and Burby's representative of the Tales of Hope Animal Shelter, noted the other services that were offered at the vaccination drive. The organization is about two years old. We started in November 2019. This November will be um, our two years anniversary and we're very happy to be here, very happy to help out and very happy to be serving the community and doing all that we are doing. Today we have a vaccination drive at Kay's Pharmacy in um, Kanji. Um, we're hoping that everybody take this opportunity and come out and support, bring your, um, bring your dogs. It's really cheap. It's like affordable, really affordable compared to the normal price that you get. It's just thousand dollars, and you get free, free and take treatment. You get deworming, and you get your vaccine. And you can come back for your um, you'll have to come back for your second dose when you come back. Mr. Basant then highlighted what Tales of Hope does and some of their future projects. Um, Tales of Hope has been doing so much for the past um, two years. We had lots of spay and neuter campaigns. We rescued tons of animals. We um, have donkeys, we have cows from a wide variety. And everybody, you can call us, you can contact us whenever you need help, whenever um, there's an animal that you need to be rescued. Not necessarily a shelter alone. We are a group of animal activists. I am uh, I'm an executive member of the group. We uh, have shelters. We have uh, about two shelters in Amsterdam, and we have we have we have the land to build a sanctuary, hoping to do better. You know, improve our improve our um, improve our work. We have um, fundraiser coming up on the um, 13th of November. There is uh, basically to celebrate our two years anniversary. We're hoping to get as much support as we can. It'll be at um, Palm Court. I'll be cooking seven curry. Persons desirous of veterinary and other animal services or persons who would like to report animal cruelty can contact the GSPCA or Tales of Hope on 226-4237 and 669-0156 respectively. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Julissa Hines.